morning, everyone. I'm going to present you the prevalence and risk factors of human papilloma virus in the region of uh, Grand Tunis in Tunisia Please. in 2012 and 2013. HPV infection is the most common uh, sexually transmitted genital infection uh, worldwide. The worldwide crude HPV prevalence estimate among women with normal cytology is 10%. So far, 96 human genotypes are completely identified, categorized in two groups, high-risk oncogenic HPV types and low-risk oncogenic HPV types. High-risk oncogenic HPV types are necessary conditions of cervical cancer, which represent the second most cancer and the leading cause of cancer mortality among women. In Tunisia, cervical cancer is the third most common cancer after breast and colon cancer. A national program of prevention of cervical cancer started in 2003, by, based on pap smear screening with a low coverage of 14%. Prevention of HPV infection is based on healthy lifestyle and vaccination against HPV. Vaccines are approved in Tunisia, but not yet introduced in the national vaccine program. So in order to estimate the burden of HPV infection in Tunisia and to get information ready to justify and to discuss the introduction of HPV vaccine, we conducted a national survey of HPV prevalence that is still ongoing. I will share with you the results of the capital city of Grand Tunis. So precisely the objective of the study uh, is to estimate the prevalence of HPV infection, the main circulating genotypes, and to identify the principal risk factor in the region of Grand Tunis. So uh, our survey is a cross-sectional study uh, during December 2012 and February 2013. Women aged 18-65 living in Grand Tunis, uh, which is a capital city with four governorates. Uh, women attending primary health care centers were invited to participate to the, uh, to the study. So once informed consent was signed, a trained midwife uh, administered a questionnaire and realized a pap smear for each woman. Exclusion criteria were polyps, bleeding, and bedding lesions. We used a standardized techniques for HPV detection that are uh, approved by WHO uh, HPV laboratory network. And we used AP data uh, 1.3 for data entry, SPSS 20, point, uh, 20 software for analysis, and for multivariate analysis, analysis to uh, determine factors independently associated, we use stepwise backward logistic regression. So the results. 382 women were included and tested for beta globulin. 57 were beta globulin negative and 325 were beta globulin positive. From the 325 uh, beta globulin positive, so they were eligible for HPV test, 43 uh, had a test positive for HPV and 2,082 had a test negative. So HPV pre prevalence in uh, Grand Tunis was 13.23% with a confidence interval of 9.8, uh, 17.52. The prevalence varies between governorates. The highest one was in the governorates of Benarus, uh, almost 20% of HPV infection, and it was uh, almost 9% in uh, re the region of Tunis. This graph shows the difference, uh, the prevalence between age group. So in uh, women aged less than 30, the prevalence was uh, about 20%, followed by women aged more than uh, 15 with a prevalence about 70%. This graph shows the uh, prevalence of the different genotypes that we identified. HPV6 was the most prevalent one with 4%. Uh, almost 3% couldn't be identified because of technical issues. And HPV14 was about 2%. Uh, the other, this graph, we can summarize all the genotypes by uh, the, sec the, 
this graph, uh, which shows the, uh, the prevalence of genotypes by degree of risk. So 43% were of high risk and 57% were, were of low risk. This table shows the factors associated to HPV infection subsequent to the multivariate analysis. <laughs> so being married was a protective factor. The monthly income, uh, the, social, uh, the, the socioeconomic status was evaluated by the monthly income, and we found that the higher the income is, the higher is the risk of being infected. Smokers had three times higher risk of HPV infection than non-smokers, and women who have husbands with multiple sexual partners are almost three times more at risk of getting infected. So, the national survey is still ongoing, but the pre preliminary results show that prevalence <laughs> is about 7%. Pre the average prevalence in North Africa is 21.3%, and the prevalence uh, in Grand Tunis figure at the same range of rates in neighboring countries, uh, such as Morocco, Algeria, and Libya, 10%, about 10%. The five most common genotypes in Africa are APV uh, 16, 35, 18, 31, and 33. For the socioeconomic factors, we found a positive association between income and HPV infection. This is in contrast with the, uh, the literate, the the results found in previous studies, which uh, allow Income is related to a limited access to healthcare systems, but uh, it could be explained by, uh, because we, since we are in a capital city, the sample maybe uh, could maybe uh, is a high income population. Smoking is a cause persisting of HPV infection uh, and compromise immune system. We couldn't analyze passive smoking because of missing data. For the sexual behavior, women who have husbands with multiple sexual partners uh, are a common risk factor in literature. So as a conclusion, we found a high prevalence of 13.23%. The principal risk factors were higher monthly income, uh, smoking and women's husbands who have uh, with multiple sexual partners. The most prevalent genotypes are HPV6 and HPV16. Uh, uh, they are covered by the quadrivalent vaccine. We need further investigation to confirm this result, especially the analysis of the national data. So, in the view of our result, uh, we recommend to work on targeted education program to reduce the prevalence of HPV uh, infection among groups at risk. Uh, results coming from this, uh, from the region of Grand Tunis, beside the results from the national uh, survey, should be used to the final decision related to the introduction of the vaccine. Uh, the prov prophylactic vaccine could be a preventative strategy for HPV infection to strengthen the national program prevention of cervical cancer, but we have to estimate costs and benefits from HPV vaccine uh, compared to other intervention by conducted uh, cost efficiency study. And thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. Any question, please? Yes, please. Vincent. Um, please, Mike. Mike, Mike. Vincent. Uh, thank you for this excellent, excellent presentation. Uh, among the, the risk factor behavior, did you also ask to the women themselves uh, about the number of partners? Yes, it was a face-to-face -face interview and uh, they, uh, with the, uh, several questions related to sexual behavior about the sexual partners, uh, the, sec the women's sexual partners and the, the age at first sexual intercourse and the uh, number of partners of, uh, not the number, if their husband has uh, uh, multiple sexual partners. And so for the, the preventive measure uh, in terms of education, are you going to educate the husbands or, 
or uh, you are just going to recommend to the women to use condoms? We are uh, going to uh, educate about all the factors that uh, we found, uh, including uh, the, the sexual behavior. Voilà. Okay, thank you. At least women are very well informed in Tunis, okay? Ah. Thank you, again, very clear presentation, very good. Um, one question was, I mean, I'm intrigued by the socio-economic status association that you, you showed. It would be interesting to know if you, have you done any multivariable analysis to look to see if there's any interactions there? That, that would be an interesting thing to see whether there's an interaction between the socioeconomic status and any of the other risk factors. Um, so that would be something perhaps to look at in the future. Uh, I was also, you had a slide showing uh, the prevalence of uh, HPV types in Africa. Um, in is, the neighboring yes. countries. Is that all types or is that only types associated with uh, risk? Because I don't see HPV6 in there, which surprises me. Are those any high-risk types, or is that...? Uh, for the, the genotypes in Africa, uh, there's no HPV6 uh, in literature for the... But 16 figure from the high-risk oncogenic uh, one. Okay. Because in your, in, in your study, you found a very high... You found six as six, the most, yes, as the most common. The most but, one, yes. but that's not true of the rest of Africa, then? This, uh, our results are only for the uh, region of the capital city okay. of Grand Tunis. We are waiting for the uh, national one to confirm our result. And this, uh, these results are for uh, Africa, for whole population. Okay. Thanks. Uh, please. Please. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for this presentation. It means that we gradually starting talking about non-communicable diseases and it's very good for me. Uh, and I have several uh, questions and comments regarding the, the first one is um, you have that smoking was, uh, you have smoking is uh, uh, one of the risk factors. And did you think about that maybe smoking is confounding factor under which is a hidden, for example, number of partners or something like this for me? Because because smoking is very risk uh, RR for smoking is very high. Another one, you have that uh, from the one hand, for example, have family and husband is a protective factor. From the another hand, is uh, you have that uh, uh, husbands with multiple um, uh, yes. sexual partners are risk factor for developing uh, H HIV inf this infection. And uh, uh, did you um, uh, conduct the stratified analysis? Husbands who have husbands without, for example, uh, without sexual partners and husbands who don't have these sexual partners because uh, um, otherwise it's, we could not get uh, uh, results, confident, confident results. And also, one more question, what I have, do you have, if you have screening programs for cervical cancer and what, and what is coverage and what you can talk about screening programs for cervical cancer? Thank you for your question. Uh, for the, uh, the table that showed factors associated, we obtained results uh, with multivariate analysis, so we adjusted the uh, factors um, entre, oui, voilà. so among them. So uh, uh, we, there's no, I think, after multivariate analysis, we. we we, can, uh, we can't uh, talk about uh, confounder uh, factors. And f for the other question, stratified, it's stratified analysis, husbands with, with multiple? Mm, mm, no, really not. OK, thank you. Thank you. OK. Now the Yes, we have, uh, there is a national uh, program, uh, 
program for prevention of cervical cancer. It started in 2003 in Tunisia. It's based on uh, 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 screening by uh, pap tests. For average, uh, the, the, last, uh, the last evaluation of this program, the last data that I have is in 2009, and it, it, uh, it show uh, cover, allow coverage of 40%. Thank you okay. very much for Another, thank yes, you very sir. much for the presentation. Uh, one question: What is the incidence of cervical cancer uh, in Tunisia? Thank you. Uh, it's uh, three uh, three hundred uh, ten by one thousand three hundred ten by uh, one uh, hundred thousand uh, women. Sorry. Maybe it's three, not 300. 300 per 100,000. Can you say it in French? Are you sure? What is the question? Okay. Maybe she you say it in French? I will check the yeah, please <laughs> check. information. Next first question, please. Thank you very much. I... Um, I was intrigued by the uh, uh, the U-shaped curve that showed with the age groups. I think it's it's really matching the international data for the older women. And I was wondering if you actually adjusted for the age in your model back to what uh, Mike mentioned regarding the uh, interaction between the variables, whether the increase with age would explain the increase with income as well. We adjusted on age uh, for the for on age group for the multivariate analysis and. Uh, it was not significantly uh, associated to the to the HPV uh, infection. Okay, and um, also I, it's 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 really impressive for the women that they have uh, reported the number of sexual partners of their partners. Uh, would you consider vaccinating men only? <coughs> I don't think so. No. Okay. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? No more question. Okay. okay. Maybe just just one, one, one comment. You know, we have a lot of study with the HPV timing among the healthy women, but in fact, it's much more important to know what is the situation, what what type you can find in cancer uh, lesions, CIN2 and uh, second and third level, and among the cancers because many of these infections, the transitory infection, doesn't mean so much. So for the next study, maybe you can plan together with your pathohistologist and to look at really what can you find inside the, these things. Yeah? Okay. okay, maybe regarding the, the my question, I think that 30% of these HPV types were not identified, so maybe it can influence the result on uh, HPV 16 or something like this. Yeah? Okay, thank you.